Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here at No Man's Land with Grover Games. So last episode we ended up getting most of our beans knocked out. We're actually working on our final bean field right now here. I'm kind of hoping we'll be able to get it all knocked out before it starts raining, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to be how it plays out for us, unfortunately. But we got plenty of tasks that we can still be doing this month yet. We're going to we're going to end up trying to work on getting our slurry pit all pumped out and getting applied to all the future cornfields for next season. And then we're going to finish liming all the other fields up up closer to the farm here. So that's kind of the plan for this episode here. Uh, right now, I'm trying to think if we're going to go heavier on corn or not. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to base that on whether or not we how much manure we're going to have in the springtime to haul because Originally, I was planning to put the field that the new field that's right in front of us into beans, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Just because I would like to get our get rid of all of the manure we have to haul. I mean, we've already we've already got rid of a good amount of it with us doing canola for next year, which I think is going to be probably a good idea to start for us to start incorporating different crop rotations like that into our series here. Just because they'll. It'll maybe kind of help us out a little bit more with getting things done, so to speak. Um, so I'm thinking this coming season, we're, I said we're gonna we're gonna plan on putting up a new business, but I'm also thinking of picking up another type of livestock, so to speak. And I'm thinking we're gonna need another piece of land for the building I'm planning on picking up. And I and then I think that'll also give us another. It'll definitely give us another crop to kind of or incorporate in the series to for us to, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? For us to kind of divvy out our harvest harvesting sessions because we always we always see, have the largest harvesting sessions towards the end of the series just because we always we're always more of a corn bean rotation here. But that's kind of the, my main goal was with the series to do something that's more relatable to me around where I live, so to speak. So I'm trying to. I'm trying to branch out a little bit now since we're getting we're becoming such a we're starting to get so much ground to our name so to speak and such and we're starting to get a lot more fields set up for us so that's kind of the goal right now and I trying to think I haven't really settled on what we're gonna be putting up for our next business adventure so to speak right now I have an idea but I'm not gonna say it because I know I usually change my mind between part way through my decision making because I figure figure out some other something else I'd rather do at the time or or some or I just don't let I change my mind and find a better idea so to speak that I feel like will will pay off a little bit better for us but right now we're we'll probably jump into the time lapse here just so we can keep plugging away here and look at that just started raining so We'll actually just go to get this dropped off here quickly. I looked. At, I keep looking at the weather forecast. It looks like it's not going to last very long, so we'll be we'll be okay on that front. We'll we'll still be able to get these beans knocked out today. Like I said, the main goal right now is that we'll get we'll be able to get for sure get our liming done today, or should be able to, and then we'll probably start. We'll get into the Kubota and get the slurry tanker going today as well, so that way we can. Oh, get, get at least all the new, all the cornfields that I know for sure that we'll be, be having next season, ready for, for everything. So, turn that off here. I'll just close the top so the beans stay dry. But, we'll and hop back into the, to the seventy-eight. And as I'm sure you guys probably already could tell, last episode I decided to get rid of the front hitch on this just because we have no real reason to have it on there anymore. So I decided to put some weight on the front end to help help out with everything and kind of help balance the tractor and such. Such so I th and I actually kind of like the way the old style weights look on the 78. So I'm kind of happy with that choice right now. But we're gonna plug away here, getting all this liming done, and then we're gonna try to get as much slurry hauled as we can here so we'll jump in the time lapse here guys and we'll see you guys in a bit i 
All right, everyone, this is where we're going to start wrapping up today's episode. We got quite a bit done. Uh, as you see, we're getting rid of the cattle, finally. So next month, we'll have 12 new 
12 new calves will be taken care of. So our milk production will be a little bit slowed, but these cows were getting pretty old, so we we had to get rid of them before they start really started heading downhill here. So we're gonna pro we're gonna make a little over thirteen thousand off them if I, if my math is correct, because I think we got like sixty six hundred from the first first set of them. We'll find out here shortly. Get them backed up to the livestock building here. Yeah, so. We got 67, look, almost 67 and a half for them. So we're we're definitely over a little over 13 for for those cattle, which isn't a bad price, especially for as old as they were getting. And I'm thinking, let's look here quick. Yeah, so we'll have we will have actually quite a bit of cattle here. Yeah, we'll. Cause I think, okay, we got we got quite a few months yet before those all calve, and that's I'm trying to remember how big our pasture is. Oh, I guess the one thing I wish they would do is like put in parentheses at the top of the which building you're looking at, like how full it is. That'd be actually a really nice feature. But we'll be having 15 calves here. Probably come more to the springtime, to be honest with you. That probably. April and such so and then we'll be selling those five off just because they'll they'll be reaching their peak weight and lifespan so to speak and we'll be we'll be going through feed at a pretty good rate rate I mean we're going at a pretty good good rate right now so that's one thing that I was thinking about right now about our crop rotation setup I do not know I think we almost have to plant a grass field again this coming year just because we're starting to go through hay at quite a good rate, and then we only use grass silage for the beef cattle, so we'll we'll probably be wanting to plant a new field into grass. And I wonder, I was thinking of doing one of the other fields, but I'm starting to think now that we're driving past it. Let's see. I want to see when we can har when canola's harvested. July August time frame, so. Mm, I don't know if that's going to work out for us very well. But I was thinking if we put put that bigger field in the grass. I know I was talking about putting these two little fields in the grass. I'm I don't not sure if that's a good idea too. Maybe put this whole section over here in the grass fields cuz did I think it was today or a few days ago they came someone came out with a swather pack and I haven't looked into it yet. And I'm thinking that might not be a bad investment for us to look at getting a self-propelled mower. And then we can probably actually think about maybe getting rid of one of the bigger tractors, so to speak. And then we can upgrade to an even bigger size tractor as well since we'll be selling off the mower. And I think what I read about this, that Swather mod is that they, it can also be like a mower conditioner. So basically... Oh, basically, we wouldn't need to tether that grass after after we get cutting it. It would it would be basically drying it out to be baled up and such at that point. But we're we still got quite a bit of hay here, I suppose. Though we haven't really gone through that much yet, so maybe maybe that will be the best idea. Maybe we'll just wait till we go go next year, harvest canola, and then till it under and put some grass in instead. That might that actually might be the better idea overall, but. Anyways, this is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching.